my shit on blast I just, yo Bro. what the hell happened i think broski had uh he was unmuted while that intro was going on that's what it was oh if, if did you redo the intro though nah the same one bro why what happened because i feel like it starts off quicker i don't know it's the same one though it's the same yeah, yeah, delay delay sometimes do 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 yeah i'm trying <laughs> the comments we have any comments yet uh, okay. what do you mean comments? They don't comment. <laughs> just this ain't this ain't live. This ain't live. Yeah, no, I know. This ain't bigs and those are New York Warriors. <laughs> New York Warriors. Heard is the word. <laughs> oh man, what's what's up? What's up, everybody? But uh, yeah, man, another time. Uh, what is it? Another week, man, of FOC, man. So yeah, definitely, man. Uh, welcome back to CBSI's Friday FOC with East Meets West, man. Um, we have a giveaway too, guys. So stay tuned to the end of the video, you know, because we have a brand new sponsor. You know what I mean? He reached out, so we'll talk about it at the end of the nice. video. Uh, but yes, guys, man, I am your guy, Joker, man. All right, from East Meets West. And I'm here with my brothers, man. Let's start off with Gomez. What's up, Gomez? What's up? Happy to be here. I know I do it bi-weekly, so I might not make it next week, but I'm here this week, so yeah. yeah boy! It is what it is, you know, on the grind, but I'm happy to be here and support my uh, fellow East Meets West crew members, Josh always. and Joke. Always, brother, always, man. And next up, man, we got the man himself, Josh. What's up, Josh? The man himself, the only guy in this crew who reads books, Josh. Basically, listen, I read as I don't read as much as you do. How about that? Yeah, because you you got me beat, bro. When you said that one time, you read twenty something books or whatever. That's, that's commitment. That is commitment for you guys out you there. You know how many more books that was than you read that week, though? Twenty three. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Actually, no bullshit. I think I read something. I forgot. What'd you read? I forgot. I, I, I th- but I don't think it was the same week. It must have been before that week. But anyway, it don't matter, man. But go ahead, man. Do your thing. Oh, it matters. So, uh, this is uh, what is this icon on my computer? No, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. so this is renew your antivirus. That's what it is. No, no. Oh, All come right. on, please. That's always up to date. It's, it's actually it's this thing that says no new notifications. I've never seen that before. Um, so this is for final order cutoff for Sunday, March 27th for DC Scout Comics and Vault. And Monday, March 28th for Marvel and all the other independent books that I did not name. Um, and make sure you go over to comicbookinvest.com as usual um, and check out all the articles over there. Uh, all the links to other YouTube content creators doing things for CBSI. And uh, as always, to follow Ben during his whatnot sales and all that good stuff. A lot of stuff over at CBSI. So let's get into this. All right. Let's roll. This, uh, I think they just pulled this off at of FOC. This, okay. is, uh, this is on here because this is the final issue of Oblivion Song. So this series, for those who are reading it, is coming to yeah. end. At least... A book, now. That, a book that was been optioned, right? You know, a yeah, while back. Been optioned, like, big Gyllenhaal's company, I think. But anyway, this is no longer an FOC. All right, so close your eyes, everybody. Everybody, <laughs> yo, talk about, yo, talk about reading this week. I meant to read this book, I started reading it, and I'm like, how, what, what's going on? Is this like the side panel, and then this is like the Are, really, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you didn't really like it that much? No, I didn't say I didn't like it. I said I just was going through it, you know, and then I just saw how it was, and I just I get back to this. I never got back to it. That's it. That's, I didn't say I like it because I don't know what's going on with this. Yo, let me tell you this right now. Um, I like this better than Noctera. What? Yes. Wow. Yes. It to me, issue one was that good. And the thing that sucks is it's only three issues. And I think it's only going to be three issues because if you read, Scott writes, up. there's a bunch of, it's a pretty thick issue, but he, he tells like what's going on with him and his company, which I forget, I apologize, I forget the name of his company and what they're doing with whatever the online company is that everyone's 
going under now and how, was, so yeah. and now how he's going to do the – he's going to be doing eight series <laughs> through them and Dark Horse together where they're all like limited run and they're all kind of different things. Everything from <laughs> – uh, uh, everything from like uh, like this, like like um, like heaven and hell type shit, to kids stories, to just he he says he's trying to challenge himself and do different stuff. This shit was phenomenal. I thought it was phenomenal. I mean, it had me hooked beginning to end, every word. Like, could not wait till the next page. So good. Mm. So wow. and and like you know how much I like Noctara one. Yeah, like one of the first ones to read it, and and. It was just, I mean, one of the first in the group comic community. No, yeah. no, probably not even just the group. It probably worldwide that under public consumption. Well, thanks to me because you know people you know, forgot about <laughs> you, the you got the bootlegs, bootlegs uh, issue. Anyway, so but it, so it's it's um how do I describe this book? It's, it's she, about demons, bro. It's about demons. It, it is. It's it's about the creation of 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 earth of, of humans of demons angels and she's born into a family even though her mother i forget what happened to her mother early on um uh of demon hunters and mm -hmm. it, they're one of very few on earth and you know she's missing an arm for a reason and it's just it's so well written it's so well written and it's so well drawn. I mean, it, it's really nice to see, as I've mentioned before, Scott Snyder. I, while I don't think anything he's ever done that I've read has been bad, certainly not. But I think there was a little bit of a lull period for him, um, like during uh, uh, what's well, Justice story? League. Okay, but the, even still, he did a lot of things, still good things after that. You know, last night on Earth and. And and uh, Dark Knight, like Dark Knights came out. Didn't he do Dark American Knight. Vampire also? The 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 American Vampire was good. I don't know how American yeah. Vampire 1976 was, but what's the other one that came out that I was reading that was under Image for a while? Uh, I know you, I know you talking about guys in the comments, man. They're like, what the fuck is that? Uh, country? Oh no, no, country. Uh, undiscovered. Uh, yes, undiscovered. There country. you go. All right. That one was uh, whatever, but he's he's come back strong. I mean, not to say that again he ever fell off, but between Noctera, this, uh, I can't wait to see what he does. I, I am so disappointed. This is only my three issues, but maybe that's a good thing. Sometimes, like the best shows, you know, movies, books, they end before you want them to end, but that's a good thing because they end before they get stale, mm. you know? Okay. So yeah, I'm really excited sometimes. about this. A uh, weird thing about this, real quick, is under on previews, they have. One, um, like you can go in and click on, on the main cover, but it has two pictures in the main cover. It has this and a virgin copy. Now, I don't know if that's a mistake or what's going on there. I've never seen this before, how mm -hmm. they have two copies under yeah. one copy. Um, but this is a foil, and then this is signed, I, I'm assuming, by Snyder, I think. Under my eagle. No, it's, I think, just signed by Scott. Um I think mm -hmm. I I don't know I can't say for sure it's signed by somebody I know Scott Snyder and uh, Greg Capullo was in Midtown Comics doing a signing of uh what, what is yeah, it this week, this week for D Demon Number One yeah, we have Demon yeah. Number One oh, so, so you know. good it was so good there you go oh All my right. god and then the thing oh okay on the DC I want I'm so excited I might be more excited to talk about this than we have Demons Number Two let me tell you I never read Batman White Knight. I haven't read not one no. ish, not one. Oh, Mister Who, I read everything, huh? Okay, yeah. Understand though that <laughs> most that the first uh, series came out before I got into comics. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And and to challenge your point, I did just read the first series within the past two days. Yo, how good was it, man? Yo, how good was it? Let me tell you, I'm about to make a bold statement. It may be. I, I don't know if I could say it's the best Batman story that I've ever read, but it's a close second. Yeah, Sean Murphy does a good job. It's, it's really it. wow. good. That's it's it's wow. really good because it's so different. Yeah, it is the whole concept of that that universe, that whole universe. Is, uh, yeah, like another and everything. And maybe it's because, like, I don't know how you guys read it. Like, if you read it as each issue came out, yes. But since I was able to read it all together. I, yeah, was, 
I read it all together. I waited till every the whole the whole first volume came out, and I read it all in one shot. It's really good read. Really I mean, good. just the little twists that happen, yeah. and and like that really Joker or Jack is not the White Knight. Mm-hmm. That Harley yeah, yeah. is truly the White Knight, and like it's just the whole story was genius. I'm gonna read the other two series this weekend because the first issue comes out on Tuesday or Wednesday or Tuesday. Okay. Um. But uh, I'm I'm excited for this. I don't know. How, did you guys read the other two series, Curse of the I, White Knight? And which is I the read one, the first one. Which is the one where um, damn, damn, damn. Um, they brought one of those Golden Age characters back. The uh, Ghost. I forgot what the fuck it was. I think it was the third series. I think it the was. Gray Ghost. The Gray Ghost. I think it was the third series. Or well, the second one. I don't know, but that series I didn't complete it. I didn't finish it, but it was really good. It was real good. I, no, I, mean, I, I, I think that was the Harley one, one, wasn't it? What wasn't the Harley? I don't know if it was. Oh yes, it was the Harley one. Yeah, that's the third series. That's the third one. Then it's the Harley one because the Harley one just finished. That yeah, was right, the latest right. one. That was the third one. Good point. But anyway, anyway, got gotcha. you. So excited for this. I I hope I hope the other two are. I don't just expect good, them yeah. to be just as good, but I hope they're they're up there. I've read reviews on them, and people say they are. But it was funny reading the back of the White Knight where it's like. So many people just raving about it, and I'm like, okay, well, you see this on every book. Everyone ra- puts some sort of raving thing on the back of the book, but it yeah. was that good. If you haven't read it, go read White Knight. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't have anything really to say on this series. Um, just another Batman book. You know. Yeah, I mean, it's up yeah, here because no, respect to world's <laughs> finest, I guess. You know, world's yeah. finest nice uh, series from back in the day, but I, I don't know how many people are it's the one came out this week. How did it do in the shop, man? No, I think it was the week before that. How did it yeah. do in the shop? I don't think too well. Well, all right. I know I was just talking to my boy Paul, as a matter of fact, today about the, the two one and twenty fives that they did, you know, the Batman slapping Superman. Slapping. Super, yeah, and people were like, I guess from what he said, they weren't really digging it. Um, I thought those would be the ones they would like the most out of any of those covers, to be honest, but uh mm. I don't know. This I I'm I'm going to read Josh. I've been I was gonna read it this week, but I'm gonna I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna read it, bro. You're gonna read it. I'm gonna read it. There's only two issues I'm missing, so I'm good. Okay. There's only two issues you're missing. What? Oh, you you I read it to one. I need two and three. Oh, okay. Well, I read two and three. Mm. And and I think I said last time. No, maybe it wasn't this book. But this is definitely one of those books where I've been waiting for the next book to disappoint me, where it's like, uh, this one can't be that good, as good as the last one. I think one. it was this one. I don't yeah, think it, is. So. it was this oh, one. That was it? It was the Batman yeah. of the Night. It was the it night. Was. Okay. Um This is the Sadarsky book, right? Yeah, this yeah. is issue yeah. three was good. I know I know a couple people didn't like it. I liked it. And I agree. Like I heard um who did I hear rever- review it? I think it was Gem Mint. Where he was talking about like the Hen- how Henry Ducard like has never fascinated him, and I agree with that statement. I I think Henry Ducard is kind of a throwaway character, mm-hmm. um, but I liked issue three. I mean, it it you know it's obviously from what I can tell going to tell how Bruce becomes Batman. Not even maybe so much how he becomes Batman, but how he put he how he takes skills from people he learns from and ends up putting those all together eventually awesome. like the first three were about him with this girl this thief mm-hmm. and him kind of learning those skills from her but now he's leaving her and he's going somewhere else now so it's been good i liked it i've liked it so far and this is a six book mini series right? no i think it's 10 right? it says yeah. it right on the uh, yeah, uh, ten. Four to ten. yeah. Four to ten. looking forward to that See what else. All right, uh, go ahead. Do your thing. All right, Catwoman forty-two. Um, I kind of want to start reading Catwoman and Black Cat for some reason. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Jeff uh, Deckel cover, mm-hmm. awesome. So kind of. I I, I I was reading Catwoman in the beginning. Uh, it, it was it was a good read. I don't know if it's still holding up. Uh, but that Jenny Frizen cover, I like it. I like the silhouette in the back. I like, I like the, the silhouette. See-through. I like the see through. You know what I mean? So uh, it was a nice. Dope cover. I like this it. This is the Maki's, man. That's so, yeah. What? The mm-hmm. one in 25s and Catwoman's recently, man? She's killing it. Mm-hmm. She's killing it. 
Uh, and then you got Jeff Decal on cover A. You the all three covers you cannot be disappointed in, man. You know what I mean? So I don't whatever cover. You want. Uh, I'm with Josh on that point of Catwoman. I kind of want to read it. I'm always t- tempted to just read it. I'm behind, but I want to see what it's about. All right, let's see what else we got here. Yo, before you get into this, man, yo, what happened to this shit, yo? Everybody was talking about it, all hyped up and whatever. Is it because it hasn't come out in a while, or is it because it's just... It did have a break, like a two-month I mean, it, break. It did, I'll tell you, I think... um, And I've said this before. I Well, first of all, I think they pulled this... Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it's not. I, I think... I think this series gets way too much praise, like way too much. Like, but then again, maybe this, this series is just not for me. Like I'm reading it and it's fine. Like, don't get me wrong. I think it's okay. But like people like are, they act like this is like the greatest thing ever. And I just don't, I don't get it. Like it again, there's, there's really like good moments to it. For sure. Mm -hmm. Like, especially Mm -hmm. at the end of the book. But like the first three quarters of every book to me is so boring. (laughs) And like, it's so, and it's so dialogue heavy. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but like when you kind of put a lot of bad things together, like I I always forget. I'm like, wait, which character is this? Like there's too many of them. Like they don't really distinguish. That's where it lost me when they had Um, different characters to follow. I, I just don't understand how this book, and that's nothing against James. Obviously, he's a fantastic writer. Yeah. Um, I just I, I kind of can't wait for this series to end. But there's always something that happens at the end of every single one of these books where it's like, oh, okay, that was pretty cool. You know? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I'm getting real disappointed in this. Really? Yeah. Not because, again, for like the millionth time that the last how 10 issues have been bad they they certainly haven't but it's just like i don't know what like what what are we doing here serving no purpose like there it it, kind of reminds me in a way of what moon knight is doing right now where it's like there's so many crossover or not crossover um uh, like events going on that the characters keep leaving. So they keep telling these like one-off stories. Like they were writing such a high with heartless and uh, yeah. Uh, um, his, his, uh, uh, Melinda yeah, Zuko. Yeah. yeah. Like, and they just like dump that. Like yeah, heartless well. is just, where the fuck is he? I don't know. Like, I don't even know like where we're going with this story. That being said, the the self contained stories are good. There's just, I, I, I feel, yeah, I feel like uh, with with a book like this that started out strong with with, with, with Tom Taylor coming in, uh, are you are they rushing things? Are they putting too much into this book? Uh, you know what I mean? I, I don't know. I I feel like the way it it, it started with um, Tom Taylor, just leave it that way, man. You know, yeah, I was doing good. Uh, I stopped reading it after the Heartless uh, arc or what the Jonathan Kent. I think it was like a two book, like a two issue uh, series, right? Oh, yeah, right. Well, now we're on a two issue series with the Flash. Flash now, you know, it's just these team ups. You know, we got World's Finest over there. That's all we need. You know, what and I mean? before that was when they jumped over to Fear State. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, it's like I, I think a lot of things have happened. Nightwing, obviously, not a big character. It falls by the wayside. Tom Taylor has become way bigger than he ever was when he was at the start of Nightwing really fast. And I think that kind of plays into a little bit. I think these, these events playing in have wrecked it. Um, and again, not to say that these issues have been bad. They haven't. There's just, they're just directionless. Yeah. And that's that, that, that can, that can, I mean, it's, it's going to fuck it up. Yeah. Keep it up. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Avengers forever five. This makes the, the list for two reasons one um avengers forever has had a couple issues now that have been keys for one reason or the other so i think this deserves to make it plus uh this is the called the doom of all dooms all we know about the leader of the new multiversal master of masters of evil is that he calls himself doom supreme and that the universe 
after universe keeps crumbling before him. But in a multiverse filled with world conquering versions of Victor Von Doom, what makes this one the doom above all? So I'm not reading this, so I don't know if Doom Supreme has showed up before in this series. If he has shown up somewhere else, is this his first appearance? I don't know. I think everyone loves Doom. Pretty cool cover, even though it's not the best drawn cover, but, you know, with all the different Dooms in the background. Okay. Um, I, I You know, cover-wise, I like the B cover. The Lee Garber cover is pretty dope. I like it. I like those Spider-Man... Uh, what is it, homages or variants or whatever it is mm-hmm. that he's doing? Uh, years, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think it's awesome, man. Um, that one right there specifically, I like how it was upside down. It's, you know, pretty dope. Uh, what's going on in Avengers Forever, man? I, the same thing I heard. I think the last issue was the first appearance of a team of the, the I don't know, something like that. Yeah, it was issue three. Oh, was it three or whatever yeah. it is? You know, but like Josh said, man, uh, a couple of a couple of keys in this uh Avengers Forever. I don't know how long this is going for, though. Forever. Uh, yeah, forever. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Four. I don't know. Yeah. These Marvel series Four. tend to go five issues, but Four. I think this one is going to go longer, I think. Okay. Ghost Rider number three. We haven't got Ghost Rider number two since uh, issue one Wednesday. has come out. It's so. coming out Wednesday? Yeah, it's coming out. Maybe. Maybe. Um, I have nothing to say about issue two yet. Obviously I loved issue one. It was the first ghost writer book I've ever read. Um, 50 years of ghost writer though. Pretty cool. Uh, I I love this cover right here. I I really like all the covers except this one, but like, these are all pretty dope. This one is awesome. You don't like the Momoko? Honestly speaking, I it ain't bad, but it, yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. Um, the Greg Land, I really like that one. That one's dope too. Uh, the Mobile mm-hmm. League one, the, the landscape one, the one side one, league. bro. Yeah, yeah, all these shits all dope. dope. All dope. All dope. I agree. The ink cover just fucking looks like a variant, bro. Yeah, it does. That's dope. So, so does this one kind of? I don't know yeah. if I like it better because it's Spider Man or not. I mean, it's still him because with the chain, I, like I don't know. You got it, the Spider Man symbol in the back. Yeah, that's bad. The bad jacket. Yeah. I think that's pretty neat. Yeah. All right. It just changes. We'll Giant size X Men, Thunderbird. I don't know who's asking for this. <laughs> uh oh, that's right. I remember why this wow. is on here. So this is being written by uh, Nyla Rose. Who is an AEW female wrestler? Um, okay. So all re- all elite wrestling superstar Nyla Rose slams into Krakoa with a back breaking one shot, featuring the first X Man to die in action. In this mega sized overshot, Rose teams up with comic star Steve Orlando and First Nations artist Dave Cutler to grapple with the ramifications of Thunderbird's recent resurrection. The world John Proud Star Proud Star has returned to. Uh, is completely different from the one he once knew. Looking to find refuge in the familiar, Thunderbird seeks someone, seeks out someone from his past at an Apache reservation and uncovers a horrifying threat to the indigenous mutant community. Will Thunderbird be able to save his people, or will his justified rage, le- rage lead him astray? Yeah. No, Not for you. me. Yeah, you know, Kelly Ashley covers the dope one. That's it. I, I, mm-hmm. Said that one in ten, like what the fuck is going on there? Bro? <laughs> <laughs> this, this is this is, looks like like if Thunderbird got strung out on heroin. <laughs> I don't know, oh, man. man. But hey, listen. Uh, hopefully, you know, it's not the first time we heard wrestlers, you know, doing books. You got CM Punk, right, doing books. Uh, so it's pretty cool, pretty awesome, man. Okay, we got another uh, event. I saw Hulk this one. versus Thor Banner of War number one. This is Donny Kate's crossover between his two series. Mm-hmm. Um, this is Banner of War will not be its own series per se. Actually, this is I think this is Banner of War Alpha number one. So I, I apologize because okay. Banner of War is going to take place really in issues of Thor Hulk. and in issues Hulk. of Hulk. Yeah. Hulk. Yeah. So Hulk and Thor have both undergone massive changes recently, but one thing remains constant, their heated rivalry. When mysterious circumstances bring them into conflict once more, 
will the God of Thunder be able to triumph against a Bruce Banner who can now control his rage? Celebrating the 60th anniversary of both characters, this epic five-part crossover between the Thor and Hulk series starts here in this oversized alpha issue brought to you by creators Donnie Cates and Martin Cocolo. Key mysteries from both series will be revealed as well as shocking consequences for the future of both characters. And this is continued in Thor 25 and Hulk 7 after this. Uh, yeah, Gary Frank cover. That's the only thing I'll get. Yeah. That's, it. that's the only cover I like. I like the Stegman 1 and 50. Yeah, 150, but that's too much for a ratio. I still, I'll still stick with the A cover. Yeah, but I like the E cover. E cover's not bad. Um, I'll read this. I'll see what's up. It's yeah, not even, I'm going to have to get this shit because I yeah. fucking have that shit in my pool. I might have to put the, at least the eight couple of my full list. Yeah, yeah, I got you, broski. I'm the same way. So, hey, okay. We'll give it a try. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's a good time for this to happen. I mean, both Hulk and Thor kind of juicing up a bit again. Yeah, so. facts. Good. Thank you, sir. Moon Knight, Black, White, and Blood, number one. This is the second time we had this on FOC list. No, this has never no. been on. No, no, I sh- no, no, no. He put it on. He said it got pulled before he put it on last time. Yeah, yeah. I I texted you this because yeah, I ordered yeah. this ah, weeks okay. ago. I remember that. Um. So this is, I think, a key. Um. Obviously, this is a like a compilation series, kind of <laughs> like all the other blood white or black, white, and bloods. Um. Where is it? Uh, a bevy of uh, comic dumb's finest creators put their mark upon. The first, uh, the fist of Kanchu and stories depicted in stark black, white, and white and blood red. Jonathan Hickman and Charles, or I'm sorry, and Chris Bacallo introduced the all different Moon Knight of the future. Um, from what I heard or read, I think that Moon Knight is like 3,000 years in the future or something like that, or 6,000 years in the future. So wow. you got a new Moon Knight. Um, the reason why I would say pick this up among all these other black, white, and bloods is literally like. There is very few Moon Knight books, specifically incentives, that are not worth money. Yeah. They just all are for some reason. I That's I mean, not necessarily it. like tons of money, but a lot of them are pretty expensive. Yeah, the older ones especially because I don't think a lot of people are picking up Moon Knights back no. then. The ratio variants are very scarce. I mean, I don't even think a lot of people... That's a good point, Josh. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah, like, I don't even think a lot of people are picking up Moon Knight now. I think they did for issue, like, one and two. But, like, I don't think a lot of people are picking it up. Even with the show about to come out, I ordered two copies of the Deco 1 and 50. I play it. Because I love Deco. I love his work, number one. and Double Deco. Yeah, 1 and 50. I can imagine. I don't know how much it's going for on eBay right now, but I'm pretty sure it's not $50. Um, Bill Sankovich, a cover, simple. I mean, a cover, not not simple mm-hmm. drawing. I'm just saying, this is cover price book. Great. I would stick with that one. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, the interior artist is going to be the cover B guys. Uh, Bachalo, uh, as as uh, Josh said, <laughs> and the Ramita yeah, and, and other ones. Other there's various. Oh, okay, and the, the Ramita one in twenty five, not bad. Uh, because yeah. I'm a little yeah. disappointed in his Spider Man that he's doing that he's going to be doing. I just say. Uh, not feeling the Romita Jr.'s uh drawing on that, but this one is okay. I'm digging it. It's okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh. So I don't know what's going on with Strange Academy. Um, I thought Strange Academy was either supposed to end or it was supposed to jump to the future. But they're saying, once again, after this issue, things will never be the same at Strange Academy. Seriously, you do not want to miss this issue that is going to destroy you emotionally and destroy the school beyond recognition. Okay. Uh, I, from what I heard, it was going to be like a semester end. So, because you know how you go to school? So, yeah. like, 18 will be like the sem- the school semester end. So, I don't know if they're going to pick it up again off a new semester and when it's going to go come back. Because okay. I know it's like a semester end, so it might be something that they will come back eventually, but it might take a few months before they come back. That's right. what I'm thinking in my mind. I'm so, gonna get it. I mean, I, 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 every single issue that yes, Gas Lamp no. is on, I don't know. Just I feel like it, out of all these characters, and eh, nah, 
Emily Bright probably I would say is probably. I was about to say yeah. Yeah, Emily Bright's the key of that that whole series. But even the yeah. even the flaming head kid, what the hell his name is? Oh, uh, Dormammu's son. Um, yeah. yeah, you know, but that beat cover, like, okay, next Teen, Teen Wolf. Yeah, that's <laughs> right? what I had. Michael J. Fox. Yeah, or, or Jason Bateman. Which one? <laughs> no, come on. There's only one Teen Wolf. Oh, yeah. that, shit, that second one didn't count. <laughs> uh, Thor twenty three <laughs> second print. No. Uh, no image. No image. I guarantee you all these. I th- I mentioned this last time too. This is gonna be a low print run. I don't think many people are ordering second prints of Thor. I'm kind of surprised it even gets a second print. I've kind of been shocked about that for the last two issues. Any anything key that's going on in there? That's, no. Uh, no, I think. Uh, well, yeah. In issue twenty three, they get um the like the Mjolnir spirit. Out of the hammer, out of okay. Mjolnir, who and it so that thing was merged with um, I can't remember now. Um, Mangog, and yeah. now uh, Odin, I think if I remember right, Odin's like life force is now inside Mjolnir. Okay, so I don't know. All right, well. Odin's died like 38 times. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Uh, Milestone issue. Okay. Yeah, it's an oversized issue. Fuck. Uh, this is gonna be. It's Donny Cates, but it's various uh, writers. Writers. Those and Nick Klein and various yeah. artists on the inside. Uh, star-studded celebration of 750 issues after a scorched Earth victory against the God of Hammers, Thor, and all of Asgard, reel from a brutal loss. But some people are never truly gone. And as Thor and his allies come together, so will fan favorite creators from throughout Thor's history. In addition to the main story by Cates and Klein, join some of Thor's most acclaimed writers and artists as they revisit their landmark runs with all new adventures. Uh, You got J. Michael Straczynski and Oliver Koipel and legendary comics creator Dan Juergens and Walter Simonson and Al Ewing and Lee Garbett and... Uh, Tom DeFalco and Ron Friends and Jason wow. Aaron and Dan. Uh, What's Tom the price Pitt. point on that book? Is it eight ninety nine. Eight ninety nine. Uh, well, that's for one of the variants. Yep, no, all of them are eight ninety nine. Uh, curious to see what that Stephanie Hans cover is, man, and not to mm-hmm. you know, no, no, no ratios on this, huh? Yeah, there is. There is. All right. I, I like. Lady. We. I, this should have been. Our, this should have been an incentive. Damn. Yeah. I might have to pick them and leave. And depending how the the Spinny Hans book. Damn, that leave is dope. That 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 might be the cover of the week for me. Even but, even a racial variant. Some places bucks. are showing this as the one in twenty five. Also, but it's not. This is definitely a fairy cover. Like you could tell, you could see a signature yeah. there. And then this is the one in fifty. Mm. Really. Oh, you know. well, it's yeah. like a remake of the number one, but it's weak. It's, it's, uh, okay, whatever. Sounds <laughs> it, it, it like, like Samurai Jack. Jumba. Right. <laughs> what we got here? Uh, Venom 6, second print. Again, I don't know really how this got a second print, but okay. Yeah, it seems like they just, the second print went away. You know what I mean? But I, again, I this is, but I, see, th- these are. I've changed my whole mindset. Like these are the second prints and multiple printings you want to go after. The ones that nobody else is going to. You know what I mean? Oh, but you know something? It has a double side to that because it's like, why? Is it is this key? Is yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like certain issues, is this key like not because why because it's a low print? Okay, it's gonna cost you like twenty, thirty dollars, maybe later on, but it's not a key. You know, if it was key, that would have helped a little bit more. Um, is it a key? Uh I'm not really trying to know. I can't I remember. That, I thought issue five was a key, but I could be wrong if it was a cameo. I can't, I can't remember. Yeah, let us know people in the comment, man. Let us know. Uh, uh Venom this week, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I did. And I liked it. Okay. I liked it a lot, actually. I'm like, I started reading it. I'm like, this shit is going to be corny. Yeah. Because it's got humbug in it. <laughs> um, But this felt, because uh, this is, um, who's right? David, uh, 
Michelinie's writing this. And it felt very late 80s, early 90s. And I liked it because it's like Humbug kind of beats Venom when you think he shouldn't, but he does very strategically. And and Humbug is like the stupidest character ever. It was good for what it was. Uh, you know, it's it's only a five issue run, but if you want, like if you're a fan of Amazing Spider-Man, um uh from from like issue 298 to 326 yeah this is you this is you all day not to mention this takes place before i'm pretty sure before lethal protector the well, first series uh, when he's in san francisco cuz he's still in new york here so this is him still trying to figure out who he is so this does take place in the 90s right that's yeah. yeah okay all right that's good that's dope awesome i'm all right I got you. Yeah. And then Wolverine patch number two. I didn't read issue one. I did one come out. Yeah, yeah this week. Came out. There were some nice covers for issue number one too. Um, but I I don't want to just go pick up a book or for covers. Nah, I'll probably get that in trade if if I really want to read that shit. But I'm not picking them up. Man, can't really say much about that. All right, well, that's it. I, yeah, uh, yeah, we can go to this real quick. I left some some books on here. Um. So it's not just us blowing Slides, past all yeah, this. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like I left some X-Men books on here. I know Ice Cream Man. I haven't Broke. seen Ice Cream Man in a while. For, I, I got the Infinity it. cover. Look at that. Okay. That's mm. kind of cool, right? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, what else? Do, 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 do. Walking Dead. Mm. You, yeah, we already did Dark Horse. Yeah. The demons, nothing yeah. there. We, uh, GI yeah, Joe, GI yeah, Joe. Uh, this is a pretty dope cover, even though this is this is not the Rat King that I think of when I think of the Rat King. That's a, yeah. When I said I was like, this is the Rat King, really. Yeah, this this looks like Gollum. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, but I like this down here. Like I love this. I love this part of the cover down here. This part, not so much. <laughs> But I might Wait, is that a one shot? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I, yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah. So it's it's right there. there. Yeah. Bro, I said it. I saw. <laughs> uh, we'll come back to DC, uh, Marvel. Uh, a couple omnibuses. Uh, Black Panther Volume mm -hmm. Two. Uh, or actually, no. Yeah, Volume Two. Yep, Volume Two. Oh, this yeah. is uh, Black Panther from '98. Yep. Uh, so a lot of cool things happen in, during this uh, series. You got uh, Killmonger comes back. Uh, he he. That's when he takes the Black Panther costume and becomes uh, Kill Panther. You also got uh, the Dora Milaje that come in during this. Um, so I'm going to get this. Okay. Uh, we'll talk about this eventually coming up. This is just a poster, but you got a new Gambit series on the way. It comes out in June. I'm not yep. mistaken. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. Uh, no, 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 not June. No, 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 Before? no. I think it's April. Okay. I think it's. Um, I think it might be on FOC in a week or two. I think. Uh, these Immortal X Men I left on here, but this is kind of cool, Mister Sinister. Yeah, I uh, yeah, I did. I think Noto did a, a one a couple of issues ago. I think I put them on FOC. Uh, that Iron Man is that the final issue? When I was reading the synopsis, it made it seem like it was like the final issue. I'm not sure. Uh, I put the Alex Ross cover on my pull list, though. I don't. I don't know. It just says the stunning conclusion of the books of Korvac. Yeah, well, I don't know if this is the end of the arc or kind of weird to end it at issue nineteen. <sighs> Not to say that. That I, I just put it on your listen. They talk about low printed books. I think Iron Man is a low printed book. One hundred percent. Yeah, so one hundred percent. And then you can't beat it with those Alex Ross covers as as it is too. So you know, I, I just put it on my list. Yo. I'll tell you what I might buy off a cover. I can't even believe I'm about to say this. These new mutant covers. Those are nice. Are freaking. Wait till you see like the art germ. And finally, Marvel got it sort of right. They took the art germ cover and made it an incentive cover. Okay. They made it a one in 50. Too bad that they then turned the same cover into a one in 100, I think, except <laughs> made it a virgin. But we're starting to make a little progress. Hey. Um, But wait till you see that when we get to it. But I might pick up. 
this new mutants just based off of this cover and then the one in 50. Uh, this we'll talk about this upcoming too. Also, Spider Man 2099 has a new series uh coming, Spider Man 2099 Exodus. Some of the artwork I've seen for it's pretty, pretty good segment on the covers, except not for this because the first one I think is Alpha. Yeah. Um, and the Afro, yeah, Dr. Afro. They've been doing these covers oh, uh, for every issue. I don't, that was pretty um, cool. That was pretty cool. Um, Star Wars there. Or X Men Red. I think they're doing an X Men Green also. Oh, you, we could talk about Dynamite this week. I still haven't read this, but Hell Sonya. Number this four. cover is awesome. The Perillo cover. Perillo, yeah. Um, just look, look at how many covers they have. Ridiculous. I think, uh, you know, that's what I think about when it comes to Dynamite. I think they shoot themselves in the foot, man, when they do all these covers, man. Just keep it simple, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Those are, I ain't going front. Those covers are nice, man. They are, but like just too many. Look at that Jennifer's blood. Too many of that, too. And look, homage to what is it, 87? You mean 87? Right here, yeah. Uh, nothing really on boom. Oh, House of Slaughter, second print cover for number five. Mm. Again, these I think are ones that you should be picking up. This, I feel like House of Slaughter is going the same way something is killing the children went. Something is killing the children was not hot right out the gate, it wasn't. And all these second and third prints of the low issues are ridiculously pricey. Every time I am picking this up, whether I hear bad reviews about it or not, and if it's getting a second print, it must have done it at least a little bit right. I mean, when you say her son's killing the children wasn't hot when it came out, what do you mean? Like, because it, it was, it was, it was. Everybody knew about it when it was coming out. You know, Maybe. everybody had copies. But yeah. the but the print run is incredibly yeah. low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it wasn't that hot. It I wasn't mean, like, oh my god, people read the first two issues and then it like exploded. Yeah, I guess after FOC, I, that's when the hype got real, right? For issue one, and then it was too late. Whatever they had in, on, on, you know, on order is what you got. You know? I feel like something is killing the children did not get hot until about issue ten, like really, like known. I don't know, bro. I mean, people knew of it, obviously, but it didn't catch the fire until about issue 10. Power Ranger, the Power Ranger heads. Okay. Oh. I don't know how this is doing. Animal Castle. This came out the gate strong and I haven't really heard anything really since it's about issue two. Okay, my Archie Comics Digest. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm fucks with Archie, yo. I like Archie. All right. <clears throat> what the hell is that? Sailor Moon? What the hell is that? There's nothing. Uh... All right. Well, there's yeah. there's there's nothing really in the. Uh, oh, look at that for you, Broski well, Zero. Yeah. <laughs> look like Broski. <laughs> no, he has the same beard, huh? I'm same mustache. I'm talking shit. Look, I look like him too, right? With my mustache and shit. A lot of people are starting to look more like me. What the fuck? <laughs> oh yeah, like what? Chandler Swindler. Yo, they do like like. He's still in my style. I don't know what this Earth Prime Two is. Cult of Acris. Uh... Don't know. Well, you got oh, Super there's Earth. a there's a lot of free comic book day stuff that they're starting to advertise. It's right yeah, around the it's, corner. Yeah. yeah, I put that Dark Crisis all free comic book demo pool. Uh, okay. <sighs> Midnighter. That's a uh, yeah free paper bag. That's for you, Joker. <laughs> all me, baby. Midnighter. Uh, Robins. This series, man, so much potential in it. The, I like this character, Jenny Wren. Mm -hmm. It's like, it, I like the name, Jenny Wren, like a Wren, like a bird. Um, and she's like supposedly the first Robin. I read the first three issues and like skimmed through the fourth. Her part's awesome. Rest of the book, crap. Yo, can, can you um scroll down a little bit real quick? Scroll down? Let me see that little Halloween right there. That, that This? Yeah, how much is that right there, yo? Is that thirty dollars? Oh, is it? That's when Catwoman in Rome. This, but this is when in Rome, though. Yeah, I'm saying though, how, how much is that? It is uh, Wait, what? fifty bucks. Fifty. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Like, <laughs> okay. Scroll car. back. Scroll back up. Yeah. Scroll back up. <laughs> <laughs> Get that shit out of my frame. I don't want to see it. <laughs> this is for you, Mike. I know you want this one. The workouts. 
<laughs> We're not gonna go there with those covers, all right, bro? <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. what else we got? Wow, yeah, Wonder Woman. I'm trying to the Amazon girl, Wonder Wonder Girl. I kind of like this cover, the Babs Tar cover. Yeah. All right, and then we'll right. pop over here real quick. Uh, no, ASM is not on. It was, and then I think they pulled it back. Uh, this is, though, ASM uh, 1, facsimile. Yep. Uh, I guarantee you, it's, okay, have you guys ever read it? No, it's I haven't read it. I, yeah, I never went through it. No. It's not bad, but I guarantee everyone has it built up in their mind way more than what it actually is. It's not yeah. bad, but it's not good either. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. From for that early Spider-Man stuff, it's okay. Okay. All right. So I'm I'm I put that on my pull list, the facsimile one. You did? Yeah, yeah, I did. Ryan, you get the real one. <laughs> sure. Uh what we got here? He calls me back. Oh, go ahead. Electro. Okay. Dope covers. I can't remember if those are actually on though. Electra? Yeah. Ghost Rider. We already did that. So, yeah, yeah. yeah <clears throat> trying to see if I see any ratios. Um, nah, we did that already. The Hulk shit. Iron Man. Yeah, I'm man. Nakayama for for Iron Man. And you got the oh, that Nakayama's nice and that Jurgens. Till Dolphin Twenty One. All right. Yeah, cause dope. You look at that. Yeah, that fucking B cover looks dope, crazy. Yeah, that C cover is nice too. That B cover look crazy. You're right, dude. Yeah. B cover was dope. We're getting the new mutants. Okay. How dope is this? Damn, that's that's our turn. <laughs> so, but that with the penguin or the little green guy, Cop Go. Goblin. I'm not even one of them. Okay, nice. Isn't that awesome though? That is that is dope, bro. The girl, but they, he fucked up on the fucking gim- Gremlin. Even though she looked like Phoenix, like Jean Grey. Oh, Madeline Pryor. Yeah, I still like the A, the a cover better. I like that, the yeah, the art German sexy, but that A cover A cover is nice too. Yeah, yeah I like the, the fucking details on that shit. Right, what else we got here, man? We got the Savage, Savage Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Got tired of seeing that damn scumbag homage, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? It, it, and it's it's every it's not just here; it's on previews too. Yeah, bro. I saw it, it, yeah, that means this is on them. They can't they can't um figure it out. Slumber. I didn't read that one. Doctor uh, Chewbacca. Chewy. All right, well, we are six, page six. We're almost done, guys. This is a pretty good thing this long. It's our Adams cover. Appreciate you. Well, look at the Adam Hughes, a one in 25. Han Solo. Oh, shit. I didn't even realize that. Yeah. What? That is terrible. <laughs> That's a fucking <laughs> <photo. laughs> That is terrible. <laughs> that is god awful. That might I, be the I, worst Adam Hughes cover I've ever seen. Nah, I've seen, I seen bad ones. I've seen bad ones. Uh, you think that's good? I didn't say it was good. I just said, look at it. Arthur Adams is pretty better. Uh, let's see yeah, this one's re- th- this one. I mean, that's dope. I that's how. Eh, eh, it, there's I, something I, wrong with his head, yeah. though. He looks like yeah. he's crossed with something. He kind of looks like he was crossed with this guy. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave, bro. Yeah, that's a badass variant. I need support. That reminds me of that Thor. Is, I thought that book was eight ninety nine. No, but that's pre order six twenty five. We get a discount. Okay, okay, okay. You're right. Look at that. You know, on I, the price price point. He's What's on that? It. Vermilion. Seven page seven last page. page? Vermilion. Uh, Walking Dead. Then you got the demons. Catchers. We have demons. Yeah, we live number two Paladellians. Uh, yeah, he was like taking a shit. What are you doing? With this? <laughs> uh, <laughs> dropping a hot one. <laughs> <laughs> Common college. All right, so that so that's it. All right, well, there you go, guys. But yeah, there you go, man. Uh, so yeah, man. Like I said before, right. man. There's a giveaway, guys. There's a giveaway. But the thing is, man, you have to leave a comment, guys. All right. 
leave a comment. We have a giveaway for, and shout out to our new sponsor. Let me shout. Let me put this up, man. Let me show them. Yeah, G. We got it, man. We got Ninja Dairy Comics guys right here, yo. Uh, definitely, guys. Uh, this is a shop where you can definitely watch FOC. Uh, make your list there. Uh, they also have older books too. Uh, not older books like uh 1990 books or whatever, but like uh past uh you, books that you've seen here. Let's just put it that way on the FOC show. Uh, here we have our. It's not a it's a recurring code, I should say. Uh 10% off with your purchase. EMW10 uh with ninja dairy comics.com, guys. Uh they also have an IG page too. So, so follow them on IG too. So that's our sponsors, and uh they're gonna be giving us giveaways every uh well, they're gonna try every other what is it, FOC week. Uh so we have a set of Shadow Man Peach Momoko covers. We have the trade, we have the virgin cover, I mean color, and the black and white virgin. All right, so um shout out to those guys man for hooking us up guys uh we will be picking a random a random winner guys just leave a comment down down i was about to say downstairs down below and uh we'll pick it up next friday guys on the flc show we will announce it and we will ship it out to the to the winner to the lucky winner all right so uh again shout out to ninja dairy comics for that man for hooking us up there and yeah man we're looking forward to our little uh you know, partnership, sponsorship, whatever. Yeah, guys. No. All right. So uh that's all we have, guys. Uh Josh, take us away, man. Uh oh, I don't have an uh, obviously I like always go to comicbookinvest.com, like I say at the beginning and end of every video. Uh yep, and uh until next week, I guess. Yes, yes, guys. <laughs> Later. Deuces. <laughs> Cut like a guillotine.